It looks pretty much the same as a turbo with the flared wheel arches and the spoilers. And it has exactly the same grippy chassis, the same four-wheel drive system, the same brakes and the same sports suspension. It even has the same flat six 3.6 litre engine as the turbo, except there's no turbo. This then is an ordinary 911, a plain and simple Carrera 4 in a He-Man suit. You know what this is, don't you? It's the Porsche Neo-Georgian house. All the looks, but without the 18th century killer plumbing. And that's fine, if you like that sort of thing. It's interesting, the engine sounds at its best when you're going 14 miles an hour. Town speed, posing speeds, when people are looking. As soon as you get out in the countryside, build up a bit of speed, it all settles down again. By losing the turbo, the brake horsepower figure falls from 420 to 320. 320's still a lot, though. So it's still a fast car, 0 to 60 in 5.1 seconds. A top speed of 174. It's not scary fast, though. It's not like going to the pub with a murderer. You're not thinking, this is fun, but soon I will be dead. There's another advantage too. The turbo costs 88,000 and this is 63,000. That's a saving of 25,000 pounds. But I don't know. I mean, yes, it's a wonderful car, be in no doubt, and it's a Porsche. So you can do 100,000 miles in it and it'll never go wrong. Use it in the snow and the wind and the drizzle. I do respect its abilities, but you can have all those abilities in a Carrera 4 for £60,000. Why pay more for a fake? 